Good morning, Marnie here. It is Thursday morning and I just got back from Joanne, so I'm going to have a Joanne haul. And I have some finished objects and a couple of whips. Uh, I tried to record yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling up to it. Uh, I had no energy whatsoever yesterday. And I'm having the same problem today, but I wanted to get this in and and I'm achy. My shoulder is achy because I was using a big hook and big yarn and that it always makes me achy. But my shoulder is hurting pretty bad right now. <laughs> um, so I've got my, my coffee and my favorite green cup. I got uh, caramel apple pie coffee in here. Alright, so I think I'm going to do whips first because I got it's the first thing I got laying here so I've been uh, working on that bath towel that I told you about I'm using I love this cotton on it and I've uh, finished my second roll I don't know how many rolls it's going to take because well I want it to be big so I want it to be monster huge but this is what I've got so far. Because it doesn't matter, it looks the same on both sides. So, and this is the, the length up and down. But that is what I have so far. Yeah, I wanted it to be long, like tall, and I want it to be super wide. Like, you know, a bath sheet. So that is that whip, and I'm using the, uh, the Suzette stitch on that. Getting ready to start my third roll of yarn on that, and I'm using the uh, Color Sage. Can't tell, I can't really see it real good. All right, so that is one whip. I'm gonna try and, and do this pretty quick because if I make the video too long, then it doesn't want to upload or do a download or whatever. All right, so the next whip is actually, it's, a, it's pretty much done except I need to put a button on it and sew the strings in, that's about it. And it is the reason why I have a sore shoulder right now. So it is just a, a cowl. And I was just using this yarn that I had, uh, I've had this for years. It is the uh, Loops and Threads uh, Charisma in the colorway of Northern Lights. And so this is, this is it. See, I need to sew my, my strings in is all and put a button on it. I like it. I don't know if you can see the colors real good. Yeah, there's some aqua, black, uh, green, purple, blue. I really, really like the green. That's my favorite part of it, is the green. Okay. And that was what I had left. I just kind of just kept going until I didn't have enough left to do a whole nother row. And I I couldn't even tell you how long I've had this. I've had it for years, and the reason why I wasn't using it is because I knew it was going to hurt my shoulder. But I finally wanted to, you know use it up I didn't want to waste it all right so I think that is uh, well I got this other whip here but it's just it's another uh, another one of the crocodile stitch uh, cowls so I'm doing another one because I didn't realize that the person who had ordered the uh, 
the light pine cowl had also ordered one of these so she actually wanted two cowls one for herself and one to send to Germany so I'm gonna be sending these off tomorrow and this one is for now the one who bought the two is just, she's someone I went to school with but she lives in Kentucky now and uh, her in-laws live in Germany and this one is also going to be for someone I went to school with, but she's local. I, she just lives right around here in the same county as me. Uh, so then, now on to finished objects. I just finished this last night. Um, I was going to make it just like the others, the uh, crocodile stitch cowls but I decided to go in my own direction with it and do something different and if I remember I will put a picture right here of it on my mannequin so that's yeah I just used uh, uh, post stitches to make the cuff or the yeah, the hat cuff, or hat cuff, <laughs> cowl cuff. Um, so the yarn that I used for that is the one that I cannot pronounce, and uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce it, but that right there. <laughs> and it is the color of way uh, silver lining. It is, I'm trying to see what brand oh it's a uh, loops and threads yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with this at first because it's 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 kind of a a slippery splitty yarn kind of like uh, Karen simply soft it's very very soft and see it I mean it it's not you know got a it doesn't have a tight twist on it so <clears throat> you know I kept wanting to leave strings behind um, but I like it though. I love the way it looks. It's got little, I guess, cream colored flecks and some little lavender colored flecks. Yeah, I really like it. After I got used to using it, I liked it even more. So that's one finished object. And then the other finished object is another cowl. And again, if I remember, I will stick a picture of it on my mannequin. So this is it right here. And this button that I put on it, I don't remember who it belonged to. It either belonged to my mother or my grandmother. I don't know. I found it in, we have one of those uh, dance cookie tins. In the closet upstairs and uh, had all my mom's and my grandmother's sewing stuff in them um, my dad's mom's sewing stuff <laughs> and uh, I think there was even actually the one that was in the closet upstairs might have been my mom's and then we had more sewing stuff of my grandmother's in another closet my grandmother's purse is sitting at the top of the closet in my uh, my sister's old bedroom <laughs> But the, uh, the yarn that I used for this, this cowl right here, is uh, KMC Bliss in the color of, uh, it's blush. And this is a three weight yarn, calls for a four and a half millimeter hook, and that's, that's what I used. So this is the yarn that I used. It is a, uh, a chain spun yarn see if I have I might be able to show you better this is what I had left right here but I, I don't know if you'll actually be able to you probably won't be able to see that because the lights gonna wash it out but it's it's chain spun I don't know if you can see those little chains so anyway that is the yarn that I used for that All right, what's next? All right, my Joann's haul. 
So, um, I, I don't care for, and most people know this, I don't care for a Red Heart yarn. Uh, but I do really love the, uh, the Super Saver Stripes. And I, my favorite one is the Retro Stripe. So my Joann's uh, didn't carry it for a long time, and they even said it was going to be discontinued. Bummer. And so finding it anywhere was, uh, I wasn't going to pay the prices. I, I guess it was supposed to be discontinued. Maybe it's back by popular demand. I don't know. But the prices that I was seeing on Amazon, there is no way in the world I'm going to pay that for one roll of this. And it was expensive. I don't remember how much, but I, I know it was, you know, way high. I'm like, nope, there's no way. <laughs> I'll do it out. I'll find something else. <laughs> but so now they've got it back at Joann's. So I grabbed, uh, well, I had, I got two of them yesterday. And that looks, I hope that's not coffee on there. I guess it very well could be. I got a little, a little mark on there. Uh, but anyway, uh. So I picked up two of them yesterday, and then I ended up going back this morning and picking up uh, four more. And they're on sale for $3.49. So I've got a total of six of them. And if I need more, because I, eventually I probably want to make a blanket out of it. I've never actually made a blanket out of that before. I made a, a great big uh, pineapple shawl out of that stuff the last time I had it. Um... So now, no, this bag is not part of the haul. It's just one of my little tote bags that I carry around. But uh, I did get a tote bag while I was there because I use up those tote bags at Joann's. Like they're going out of style because I use them so much they eventually just kind of rip. So this is the, the bag that I got at Joann's. It's got the, the uh, retro stripe yarn in it right now. I know this is just one I've had for years, uh, so I threw all, all of my buttons in here because I ended up getting more buttons yesterday and today. I'm going to put them all on my desk here, my table, and I will show them to you. So the buttons are on sale. Uh, buy three, get two free. One of them I just uh, I just paid regular price for. I probably had a coupon because I did use my my coupon app, so I don't know how much I actually paid for these. But I got this package of buttons, all wood and coconut buttons, which is pretty much all I've got here except for one is looks like glass. So yeah, the this bag of buttons I absolutely love it. And then so I got a bunch of these little cards here. Buttons. My favorite one. I love that green. Got a couple of heart shaped ones. I don't know the prices on them without looking at the receipt and that's shoved somewhere around here I don't know where uh, let's see this one is going on the the uh, crocodile stitch cowl that I'm currently working on see so, yeah, I, I like these Okay, now this next one is huge. Super huge. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Peekaboo. And this last one, um, it feels like it, uh, that was my bag of buttons. I'm not sure what this is made of, but it feels like it could be just like a coated 
plastic, but it's it's nice. I said glass, it's not glass, but, <laughs> but it's different compared to the rest of them. So, yeah, that is my buttons. And I'm going to put them in this this handy dandy thing I got this morning on clearance. The regular price of it was $39.99. I paid $15.97 plus whatever discount I might have gotten on my on my app. But got this little box here, this sewing box. I have a thing for sewing boxes. I don't I don't pay full price for them. I wait for them to get on sale, and I've only I mean I've got this one and then. I bought this one years ago with uh, when it was on sale or I had a coupon or something. But yeah, I got this one from Joann's. <laughs> so I love these kind of boxes. Oh my gosh. So that's where I got this one this morning. And my buttons are probably going to go in here. And it's, uh, you know, soft cloth on here. Could use that for a pin cushion. I won't, but I could. Okay, and now my last thing that I have to show. I had bought from Hobby Lobby. Um, I I never seem to get in on the clearances, the yarn clearances when they first start. I always end up on the tail end, and then there's nothing left. Um, and that's kind of the way it was. So I don't want to. I can't afford to buy the hand dyed yarn that they have. Uh, they usually have it for like fourteen ninety nine, which I know is not a bad price for hand dyed yarn. I know that. And I, I don't even buy it when it's on sale. So when it was on clearance, there was only two colors left, and I ended up buying those uh, a bunch of them. Like one was pink and one was blue. I still I've only used one. I don't even have a. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> that spinner thing. And uh, gosh darn it, it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> anyway, I'll think of it here in a second. Um, yarn Swift. That's it. I don't have one of those, and I don't know if I have the patience to wind it by hand. So, how I used uh, one of the the hanks of yarn was <laughs> just very, very carefully, very carefully. Put it in a spot where it was out of the way. In fact, I used a, uh, I bought a, a standing toilet paper holder <laughs> to hang it on. And it's one that's, I mean, it's uh, tall enough. It's not so tall. I, I could put it on my table and it's not that bad. So, but it's out of the way. And so I just unwrapped very, very slowly, making sure not to get anything knotted. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I still whatever's left on that hank of yarn I still have hanging on the toilet paper holder I got it out on my craft table out there but anyway I have always wanted to order a hand dyed yarn from some little small business shop always um, I've wanted to do that for the longest time and I finally did I put an order in with Little Knits uh, because I watched several of, um, of Crystal's videos from Bag of Day. And the more I saw the Little Knits, the more I wanted to order from them. <laughs> I didn't get much. I only got two packages. I got two five packs. That was all I got. Um, I do want to order from them again. I just have to wait. Right now, I'm lack of funds. <laughs> I don't have any more money. I can't can't be ordering anything else. But I got two five packs, and I've already well, my dad actually opened them. If he knows what is in the box, he will go ahead and open it because he doesn't want me touching the box. He's always scared to death I'm going to get sick of something. So he probably actually wiped this bag down too. I have not opened these bags. To feel the yarn I've just been staring at it <laughs> it came in yesterday and so the first thing I got is the uh, LRA DK Merino superwash 
in the colorway of Caterpillar Heather. And I had it inside. It's 260 yards per hank. And I guess I'm going to have to open it to be able to see that part. Well, anyway, I will open it up here in a second. So that's, there's five of them in there. One, two, three, four, five. And oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Oh gosh, that color. Holy cow. Oh my. Okay. Yummy. Oh my. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I just keep spinning this and not finding what I want. <laughs> Whew. Can't see anything. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to get a, a magnifying glass out. <laughs> so it uses a, a five and a half hook. I was looking for the uh, materials in it, but I cannot see that anywhere. I don't know. I guess it's it's 100% oh, wool right there in big letters. 100% wool. Yeah, that's nice. I love this color. Oh my gosh. Love it. Isn't that the prettiest green? <laughs> I also like uh, this green. I don't like Kelly green or Patty green. I like lime green, avocado green, army green, camo green, spring green. Yeah, I love green. <laughs> All right, so that is the El Array. And now this one here is the uh, Cascade Yarns Highland Duo. It is a roving style yarn and it looks super soft. Oh my, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Holy cow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Yum. So this is 70% uh, baby alpaca, 30% merino wool. And this is the color honey. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So for the, uh, for the El Array, I paid $25.99 for the five pack. And for this five pack, uh, I paid $28.50. And they are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to, to make something with that. Something's going to come out of that. All right. So I think that's going to do it for today. Because <laughs> I don't have anything else and I think that's probably enough. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed that. Um... I don't know what I'm going to have tomorrow because uh, I'm, I'm, my shoulder is sore, so I don't know how much more I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> All right, so if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. I'm getting up there. Everyone have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.